Praise the Almighty God, my good friend, wherever you are. I just want us to pray and therefore I want to share the word of God shortly with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for this moment. I'm going to share the word of God with your people. Use me as a vessel towards their life. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. My good friend, I take you directly to the book of Hebrews, chapter number 4, verses 11. In a short time, we want to read, we want to get what we are getting, and you want to proceed to your work. The Bible says this way in the book uh, of Hebrews. It says, let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will perish by following the example of obedience. Praise the name of you. The point there, following the example of obedience. That is the point. God wants us to follow the example of obedience. That means you, it will take you again to the commandments of God. We need to follow the commandments of God. And therefore, following the commandments of God, it takes one to believe. It takes one to have that heart of being, um, I call it being uh, uh, humble and being ready to be corrected. Therefore, you will have rest in Christ. I want to take you to, 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 to point number, number one, whereby it says, let us therefore make effort. Effort is a trial. It's something you try, something which is inside you. It is your will to try and make an effort just to dwell and get what is, is right for you. Praise the name of Jesus. And once you do that, you will enter the rest. And when you enter the rest, no problem. When you enter the rest, you are there to stay where Christ is. In, in Christ, you have to obey. In Christ, you have to stand with his word. I want to tell someone in that office, I want to tell someone who is driving that vehicle, I want to tell someone who is looking at me, have rest in Christ. And having rest in Christ is following the word of God, walking in obedience, following his command. And may God bless you. What? Let us pray as I end this session as you conclude your work. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for this moment as I'm going to, as I, have I shared the word Almighty Father to your people. Lord, thank you for them. Thank you for their life. Thank you for their business. Thank you for their offices, wherever they are. Lord, may you enable them to overcome and enable them to settle in you, O oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. You are there, not born again. Just want to repeat this word after me and God will totally bless you. Father, I come before you. I am a sinner. I've sinned against you. Lord, forgive me. Write my name in the book of life. Starting from today, I want to follow you. Thank you, Jehovah, for your salvation. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Father, thank you for that person I prayed for. Lord, sustain them in their salvation. Walk with them. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen. Shalom. Peace of God be upon you. In case of any prayer, you can just send via that number you can see on the screen, plus 254-721-7220-826159. That's my number. I'll repeat it again. Plus 254. That is the code of our country, Kenya. 720-826159. That's my number. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Shalom. Peace of God be upon you.